does the 2022 Mustang GT have an engine tick? So unfortunately, this car does have the engine tick. Um, there's a couple things that we can try to get rid of it. Uh, some people put some thick of oil in it. Some people put Ceratec. Uh, some people say you're not gonna fix it because it's just piston slap. Um, some people say, yeah, go ahead and take it into Ford. But at this point, Ford has already said it's a normal operating noise uh, for these cars. Am I frustrated? Uh, Kind of, yeah, a little bit. I mean, the damn thing's got 1,900 miles and it sounds like it's ticking like some old clapped out Honda Prelude going through a drive-thru. And <laughs> especially going through a drive-thru, you can hear this thing just ticking away and it's intermittent, so it's, it doesn't always happen, but at the same time, it's just, uh, it's kind of frustrating. You really only hear it at idle. Maybe a little bit, if you give it a little tiny bit of throttle, you can hear it more. Um, and it's also supposed to just be a like operating temp is, is when it happens. Um, no big deal though. I'm not really worried about it. It's just, it is what it is, I guess. I'm not gonna take it into Ford because I feel like all they're gonna do is just tell me it's a normal operating operating noise and send me on my way which is fine by me on a side note i might have to take them in for this transmission here hopefully this short throw doesn't affect anything but ever since i got this car it's been like grinding third on high rpms i don't know if it's part of that uh that third gear lockout it very well could be anyways back on what i was talking about yeah, I'm not worried about it. Ford is just gonna tell me it's a normal operating procedure and I'm just gonna be back on my way. So what I'm gonna do is if she blows, it'll be boosted. Chances are <laughs> the boost is what caused it. So I'm not worried about it. It really sucks, but you know, we're gonna embrace the suck and continue ripping this thing. Um, I might try to put some Ceratec in it, see if that helps anything. If it does, cool. That'd be nice, but you know that stuff gets expensive after every every oil change or whatever they have to put it in. So might not be doing that, but it's really not a huge huge deal to me. It just sucks that it's a new car and everything, and it already has that dreaded coyote tick that apparently Ford says is malignant. But guess time will tell, guys. But I appreciate y'all watching. We're about to hit 600 subscribers. I woke up and I had like. 598 so that's sick um thank you guys for the support hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time